Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch the video. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at a couple commands for structural purposes. The first one is going to be the uh, beam join command and the coping command. Here I am in the modify tab of the ribbon, geometry panel. I have the coping command and I have the beam column join command. If I look at this model in 3D, this is what we have. Let's say, for example, I want to take these two and bring them together to have a nice mitered corner. You can start the command for beam column joins, and in plan, you'll see the arrows. If you click this arrow, it will take the other, this horizontal one and bring it in towards the vertical one and join them to a mitered corner, and you can lock that design if you need to. If you look at it in 3D, it looks like that. When you finish with the command, hit modify, and you're back to normal. If we take a look at coping tools, Let's say, for example, we have a beam that's coming into this one. And we head over to the 3D view. <clears throat> Switch over to this view and zoom in. I'd like to cope the beam. <coughs> Excuse me. Modify tab of the ribbon. <clears throat> Geometry panel. Coping command. You can apply the coping and you can remove the coping. You start the command by using apply coping. In the lower left corner of your screen it will ask you to pick the first object. That select element to be coped is the first object. So let's say I want to cope this one against this one. It will automatically cope it and you can see here if I hit modify to finish the command and select that beam kind of orient a little bit more. You can see it once you have it selected you can go down over here under structural under instance property and it will tell you the coping distance if you increase this say three inches for example then it's going to cut it back that much if you take this say 0.5 inches then it won't do that because the minimum is an inch and if we switch that back to one inch it'll put it in <clears throat> if you need to remove the coping click remove coping and it'll ask you to select the element to remove coping and you select that beam. Uh, select the column or framing that was used for cutting which is the second one here and now the coping is uh, removed. Hit the modify command to uh, finish that command. <clears throat> and that's how you use the uh, coping command within Revit 2016 as well as the beam column join command. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.